We sure are. Talking books. Someone got a really good book at the lot at the airport, but we'll get to that some other time. Okay, very, very good. Yep, he didn't know what he was, was walking me. into. No. no, but he did. Almost done with the book too. <laughs> Wow. Almost okay. done. Anyway, again, we'll get to it. Don't worry. She is a Minnesota woman known for creating one of a kind jewelry pieces. Odds are you've probably seen someone wearing a piece by Larissa Loden and maybe don't even know it. Today I'm taking you behind the scenes of her new store in storefront in St. Paul, learning more about her creative process. So under construction, so we're getting a sneak peek, but when this airs, you'll officially be open. So congratulations. Thank you. You're thank you. Thank you. You're officially open yes. in the future. Yes. Uh, so this soon. is uh, your first space in St. Paul. Yes. Outside of your Northrop King space. Yep. You own this section of property and it is yours. How does that feel? Really just can't even put into words. It's been something that I've been working for even before like the pandemic hit and now for it to be here is truly amazing and I don't think I have words still for it. You're a jewelry designer. So to get in on this side of things, how many years did it take for you to build up a business and build up a brand in order to make this space that's not just yours, but it's now you've got collaborative artists in here as well. The saying that it takes 15 years to become an overnight success is very true. I've been designing jewelry um, ever since I was actually at the U of M. I was going to school for art education and I was doing art fairs on the side and then I was an art teacher and then there was a point where I was still working and had two employees and was like maybe we'll give this a go so that's when we transitioned to the Northrop King building and then we were there for about six seven years and then worked on this I mean then there was a moment where out of a thousand square feet there was 11 of us and we were just literally on top of it very startup feels right. you know so what was that moment like for you to go oh gosh not only did this start with just me now we're over our space limit now we're going to be open to something bigger and brighter this space was really rough so this was originally the Izzy's ice cream like manufacturing side so like the walls in here were turquoise high gloss because that's what you need for food and there was no windows and it was it was rough, but we came in and we saw the floors, which are this original terrazzo, and we were just like, they're amazing. Were the floors some of the original inspiration? Because a lot of the color tone in here does match the terrazzo floors. It really was. I mean, so we worked with this amazing team called um, Studio BV, and they really like came in and they like saw the floors and they kind of built all of this arches and they really like mimicked the space off of my designs. They're, my designs are very architectural, and so they really kind of made that part of the concept and everything from like the lighting fixtures to all of the beautiful arches and everything. It just kind of all plays together. Okay, oddly enough, I said off camera, I really started following your jewelry when Heather Fox wore it on HGTV a couple years ago. Yep. Fast forward, that did things really, really take off at that point or was it before then? It was before then, but um, Heather and I actually have kind of known each other. So back when Heather had opened up her store, she had um, reached out to me. Every year we try to do three or four different collaborations with okay. other amazing um, females. And so this year then, um, our one that we just did was our Heather Fox collab. And Heather and I became really sweet friends off of it. And it was just like so fun because obviously as we know, she does interiors. And she was like, I really want to do a, a collection based off of lighting fixtures, which honestly was the most amazing like inspiration. So yeah, so she did this and it was the super fun collection that we did and it's all based off of lighting fixtures. You also have this sort of DIY build your own necklace bar. Yep. You have other brands that are here. This is like an all encompassing shop. It is. For gentlemen and ladies. I'm always like, hey, I could just come in here and spend hours here. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we really, I mean, some of the things that we really focus on are accessibility. So almost everything is right around like the $50 price point or less. And then um, all of the brands are really fun. They're all actually either female or um, minority owned businesses, which is really, really awesome. And a lot of them actually are not exclusive to Minnesota, which I think is really fun. There's so many great shops that do a great focus on Minnesota. So I really worked on from doing, running this business for so long, met so many other great, amazing of individuals and creatives from around. So we actually focused on some other non-Minnesota based companies and actually some from Europe too, which is really fun. So any from yeah. Seattle by any chance? We actually don't have any from Seattle yet, but there is a card company that we're going to be bringing in that is from Seattle. So yes. There's always a connection somewhere. There's yes. always a connection. Yep. I love it. This is great. There is always a connection. You look like you had a lot of fun. I did. It, her jewelry is beautiful. I really liked the kind of build your own, um, build your own bar sort of little baubles that you could put on a bracelet or a necklace. That was really neat, and I think it's very in fashion right now to have yeah. those. So, it's a it's a good place to do that. To learn more about her jewelry, check her out online, Larissa Loden, right there. Dot com. Thanks cool. for having us. We'll be right back, everybody.
Build your own bar.